Ilford Delta 100. Today we're shooting it at 50. Come along. My name is David Patton. When I started photography, I wanted to make art. I wanted to be a landscape photographer. But with a family to feed and bills to pay, I decided it would be better to be a working photographer than a starving artist. So I took a job as a photojournalist. 25 years and thousands of assignments later, it was time to go back to my first love. It was time to follow my passion. Come along on my journey to become the best black and white photographer I can be. Whether it be film or digital, I will be sharing what I learned through my successes and my failures in hopes to inspire and educate. This is my journey. This is Bright in the Edge. Might be a little bit too loud. So today I'm shooting Delta 100 at ISO 50. That's so this is the first time I've ever shot Delta 100 at 50. So I'm hoping uh, to find out if there's a lot of difference uh, at, with that approach. Now I've overexposed Delta 100, so I probably shot at ISO 50 before but I've never developed for it. So I'm curious to see if I shoot it at 50 and develop for 50, if there's gonna be a lot of difference. Difference in the grain structure, sharpness, contrast. Those are all things I'm gonna be looking at. I go back and forth between Delta 100 and T-Max 100. And I'd like to kind of settle on one of the films. After a year, I still haven't decided which one I like better. With Kodak increasing its prices, though, there's a little incentive to possibly use Delta 100. It's just, uh, it seems to be more affordable right now. I don't have deep pockets, so wherever I can save, save a few, a few bucks, uh, I'm going to explore that. But my, my gut feeling has always been that T-Max this has a little bit finer grain. So I'm, I'm gonna be looking a lot at the grain structure shot at 50 and developed for 50 to see if, uh, if there's really an improvement in that in that regard. Now, when I shoot at 100, the grain isn't, isn't terrible. It has pretty fine grain, but I wouldn't mind it just being a little bit finer. So right now I'm just uh, trying to make a composition on this, this little waterfall. This is really more of a test roll, but I, I kind of want to shoot some, something sort of interesting. Another first is I'm going to be using a different developer. I probably shouldn't do both things at the same time, but I'm, this is the developer I got. I don't, I'm, I'm out of what I normally use. I have been using D76 or a generic version of it. And what I think I'm using is probably going to be similar, but it's a liquid form. It's by Clayton, and it's um, F76 Plus. 
So they, they claim it's a, a, a very fine grain developer. We'll, we'll see. So I'm going to be shooting F50 and developing with uh, F7, F76 plus. And going by, uh, initially I'm going to go by the development times on the massive development chart. I think that's what, I think that's what it's called. So we'll see if those times are, are good. So for this shot, I've uh, shot it with a 45 millimeter and a 75 millimeter. Just to kind of get a different look. So 45 on a medium format camera is wide angle and 75 is more of a normal focal length, it's like a 50, um, around 50 millimeter on a 35 millimeter equivalent. I shot this with a polarizer and without a polarizer, so we'll see which one I like the best. Often I, I end up liking the one without the polarizer when I'm shooting black and white. I, just, I tend to like that little bit of sparkle on the water, it just kind of gives a little more life to the image. Whereas in color, sometimes that's more of a distraction. At least that's how I feel about it sometimes. The light's coming out. It's probably uh, not really in my favor today. But we're gonna. This is a test roll anyway, so I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna stress out too much about it. I'm looking forward to processing the film and, and seeing my results. I'm very curious to see if shooting at 50 really makes a big difference. Who knows, this, this may be my go-to film in the future. So I'm going to end today's video right here. So until next time, thanks for coming along for the ride. Before I end this video, I just wanted to hop on here and, and give my impressions and, and final thoughts on shooting Delta 100 at 50 and how I felt that the uh, F76 Plus worked. What I'm seeing on these negatives is, you know, it could be in my imagination, it could just could be in my head, but it definitely looks like to me the grain is definitely a, a tighter, smoother structure, smoother, smoother in appearance. And the negatives really look good. There's uh, plenty of information. There are uh, detail in the highlights, detail in the shadows. I mean, all these images scanned well. Had no problems with that. I like what I'm seeing in this first roll. I like it enough that I'm gonna wanna shoot some more and try it out on some other subjects. After one roll, my gut feeling is that this film may work, work better for me at 50. I just really do like what I'm seeing in these test shots. This could be my go-to film in the future. I still have a few rolls of T-Max 100 left. I think once I get through those, I will probably, if it keeps going like this, I will probably just stick with the uh, Ilford Delta 100 and just shoot it at 50.